Hey guys, we're up to a third American Angling Sea. We're looking at the upcoming Bassmaster um, Elite Series Fantasy Fishing. We've got 22 days or so until that hits. Um, so what we're doing is kind of getting a head start and everything and just kind of trying to plan ahead for the season. Um, we're going to begin with Group A, obviously, <laughs> which is um, I've got Brandon Polinick. Um, we're fishing Lake Martin and we're fishing it in March. So that should mean a really finessey bite um, and it should be um, the back of creeks might be starting to warm up, maybe, depending on the weather goes. But we're looking at pre-spawn more than likely, which will lend itself well to Brandon's style. You know, being able to throw those square bills, traps, maybe some, you know, jerk baits. I, mean, I think he'll do really well in that sense. Um, you know, and Brandon's known as a drop shot guy on occasion if he needs to be. So I've got confidence that he can pull this one out and, and do what he needs to do. Um, another smart choice would be Kevin, obviously, because Kevin is a jerkbait guy, um, and he'll fish him all year round. You know, that being said, you know, at this point, he's got about 12% owner rate, so you do with that what you will. Um, you know, let me move to group B. Um, I've got Jonathan Van Dam. I feel like Jonathan uh, is going to do well in this event. Um, seeing him around town, he's a little more confident. He's a little more focused on what he needs to be doing, and he's a jerkbait guy, you know, we, we fish up here in cold, cold water before and after the spawn. So, you know, we, we should do decently well with him. Um, you know, the other choice in Group B you know, might be like uh, Howell. Um, Iconelli is usually a safe bet, but he's not likely to win, be my guess. Um, but Howell could get him to bite with a, a fast bait, and what it, which it might take. Um, you know, in the group C, I chose Gary Klein because of his finesse abilities. Uh, it's the water's gonna be cold, you know, so moving slow might be what it's gonna take. And Klein has the patience to do that, and he's got the experience to know what to do, when, where, and how. Um, Justin Lucas is so far the favorite in this field. Um, you know, he's somewhat of a local boy. Him and Matt Heron both. Uh, you know, so they they could do well, and they should do well. But I, I just don't see a top 10 for either one of those guys in this event. I, I see Klein, for some reason, pulling it out with his um, his finesse tactics, essentially. Um, and then we've got Group D. The chances of a crankbait bite you know, might be high. The, school, you know, the fish might be schooling. Um, and, and if that's the case, Paul Elias is the guy you want. Um, Timmy Horton is the top pick right now. I'm not a huge fan of that pick. Uh, he's a very versatile guy, but a lot of times that versatility can bite you just as much as being a one-dimensional guy can be. That being said, Paul Elias is, is Paul Elias. You know, he's been around a long time. He, you know, he knows what he's doing, and I feel like the crankbait bite should be on. And then we've got uh, Boy Duckett. Boy Duckett, I, I kind of throw in that same category. Um, he's a jig guy, but he's also a crankbait guy, so you know, the, the jig bite should be happening um like I said, slow slow moving fish more than likely be really lethargic so boyd should do well um he, he's gonna make those fish bite even when they don't want to um, we've got chris lane you know chris lane in this group which is surprising that he's put down in group e um that being said you know he's a local boy as well just like Duckett is so that could really go either way um but chris at this point is the favorite out of that group um, you know, and I've got about 70 pounds at this point. Um, that being said, you know, once we move closer, maybe I'll change that weight, but I'm not changing my picks. Um, but really, that's it, guys. If you guys have any suggestions on who you might pick and why, feel free to comment down below. Let me know. Um, as always, guys, have a good one, and good luck on the water.